So I thought that I would share a reflection that I have been having kind of about the state of the world and how it impacts our vibrational frequency. So listening to Abraham Hicks, which I do every day, highly recommend it. Um, always pulls my head out of my ass, <laughs> gets me back into reality. Um, uh, but what, what, our truth is of who we truly are at origin uh, energy is we are pure, flowing love and divine creative energy. Now, we're really powerful creators. And there, in every problem, as soon as there is a problem created, there is also a solution created. That's kind of how things, you know, everything, the duality of the world, right? So um, when we are focused on the problem, we are potently creating more attributes of the problem, more aspects, little drips, you know, more and more stuff. And you're seeing that. Um, one of the things that is happening is, and it has always been happening, let's be real, is that the media very much fuels a fear-based perception and paradigm. And when you are in fear, you are out of your power. Um, and when you are in fear, you're actively creating more things to fear. There lies the rub. So um, when you are realizing that this is just kind of like this, this screen of information that media keeps putting in front of our faces, if, if you can... Tap into the uh, perception, paradigm, whatever, that beyond this, think of it just literally as, as a, like a, a sheet, okay, of, of, of energy right in front of you. And on that screen of that sheet of energy is all the stuff that the media is telling you, that all these bad things are happening. And, um, and I'm not saying that bad things aren't happening. Let's be real here because... There's lots of evidence everywhere. However, um, what we personally experience in our paradigm is directly related to what's happening right here between our ears. So what I encourage you to do and to play with is to move beyond the veil and project your focus into the energy stream that is behind the veil. And that energy stream behind the veil is pure love, health, wealth, abundance, prosperity in every facet of your life, and excitement for the miracles that are there. Like everything is possible on the other side of the screen. So you got to ask yourself every day, all day, when you're feeling a resonance of fear, you're focused on the screen and the screen's not real, right? What is real is God, source energy, universe, creative energy on the other side of the veil. So project your awareness and tap your, your energetic cord, if you will, through the screen into that vast expanse of beautiful, beautiful supportive energy. And then you can just kind of like, oh man, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see what, you know, what miracles are being created for me. All the things that I've dreamed of are here. They're over here. And I can bathe myself in the frequency of them. I can be excited for them and I can receive them. And try to stay as much as possible on the other side of the screen. Because I'm telling you, the screen sucks, okay? This thing, this, this media machine... Um, creates a really sucky screen. And if you're looking at it, you are contributing to those creations in your own life. I can't emphasize this enough. When you are problem focused, you cannot be solution focused. When you are vibing, talking, speaking, collaborating, problem solving, the problem, you're not in the vibration of the solution and therefore the solution cannot land. When I get fucked up, I start popping like popcorn, little glitches here, there and everywhere. 
and it's a reminder, oops, I'm focused on the wrong things. I've got to be focused on solution. So I'll just say, hey, I witnessed my, my fear. Um, I am love. I am peace. And, um, you know, there is a solution here. It's going to be great when I figure it out. You can start doing self-talk, um, you know, like a sequence. Like, it's going to be great when I figure this out. It's going to be so awesome when I'm feeling freer. It's going to be amazing when I feel more like peace in my gut, right? It's For me, it's my gut. Um, it's going to be so fun when I'm like revitalized and re-energized and my mind is focused on fun and good and love and light and and I am back in creative mode. So that's when I'm, when I'm in a like really seriously messed up state, this is how I start start to turn myself over, flip the switch from problem-based to solution-based frequency. As soon as I'm in solution-based frequency, all the shit that's been happening, all the visual evidence of that in my life literally starts to just disappear out of my life. So if you're really, you know, wanting more inner peace, which I think we all want right now. It is so important to recognize that when you're responding with your energy to what you are observing, you're often in danger of creating the wrong thing because a lot of what we are observing is this very toxic, negative, fear-inducing veil. And it doesn't have to be your creation and it doesn't have to be your experience. Just set your energy cord through that and then get into the vast expanse of magic that awaits you. And if you love this, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell. I'll be putting out a regular weekly little training and um, you know, we all need tools right now. And um, we need a lot of tools and we need to be listening to and hanging with people who are speaking truths. And these are truths. They sound weird, but they're truths of how this universe works. And when you start working with universal laws, things can get exciting, things can be fun, and things can be freaking magical. So I hope you'll join me. Subscribe, leave me a comment below, and uh, I love you.